The puzzle we're going to be working on today is called Figure Logic, and this is a beginner level puzzle. You'll find that uh, at first glance it may seem a little bit complicated, but I'm going to try to explain and work through it. Uh, at home, hopefully, you've got your pencil and your eraser. I'll be using my dry erase marker and my uh, equivalent eraser here. Most importantly, though, is uh, make sure that you don't get dehydrated while you're working your puzzles. Always have plenty of water on hand. All right. Let's read through the instructions for our figure logic puzzle. Solve figure logic by completing some simple arithmetic problems which will enable you to move from clue to clue through the puzzle. You may discover that at times you will not be able to complete an entire number at first, but you may, by logic, be able to determine one or more of the digits uh, what they must be. If you enter those digits into the diagram, they may help you solve other clues and you can eventually return to the unfinished numbers and finally complete them. To help you begin, we've entered the first digit of the answer to 4 across 3. We'll get to that in just a moment. Since 4 across is clue is the first digit is 3 times its last digit, you can now enter the second digit of 4 across. And we're going to focus on that in just a moment. But let's have a look at the overall clues. We've got uh, across clues and down clues, just like we would in a word crossword puzzle. We've got uh, several clues in the across several clues in the down, and any single one of them might be very difficult, be, uh, because if you take a look and say three down says it's three less than twelve down, well you look at twelve down, we don't have an answer for that yet. So you can't possibly know the, the, the uh, answer that's going to be one without first completing the other. And because they're all in kind of word math problem form, um, it can look very daunting at first, but it's actually quite simple. And again, because this is a beginner puzzle, we have a clue which has already been given to us down here at four across, which is the digit three. So we know that uh, unlike, uh, I should explain that unlike some of the other puzzles that we do where you cannot repeat certain digits, in this particular type of puzzle, a figure logic puzzle, you can repeat digits within a number. The only rule here is that you will not begin a number with the digit zero. Zeros may appear in the answer, but not as the first digit. So for example, number one, we know it's one, two, three digits. The minimum number that we're going to have is 101, because two is not going to start with the zero either. So this is going to be somewhere between 101 to 999. That would be your limitations for that particular answer. Let's focus back in on our first clue, which is this number three. If we go up to four across and read this particular clue, it says its first digit is three times its last digit. Its first digit is three times its last digit. Well, we know that the first digit is three, and it's three times the last digit. That very easily gives us the number one there. We now have the answer for four across, which is 31. We can cross that one off our list. I like to cross off, if, once we exhaust the possibilities so that we don't reread clues that we've already answered, I like to cross it off on the list. Well, from that, let's take a look at one down since we've been given, since we've solved one of the digits. Number one says, or I'm sorry, we're going one down over here, same digit repeated. One down, same digit repeated. We know that this is a one is the center digit. All the remaining digits must also be one. And we now have 111, and we can cross that clue uh, off of our list. Let's take a look at three across. Two times four across. The reason that we've come to this is that because we now have the answer, of four across, 31, and we know that three across is two times that, two times 31, 62. Now I have the benefit of having gone through these clues before and knowing exactly what order I want to go in. And for the purposes of trying to get through the entire puzzle in one program, we're gonna kind of go <coughs> in order uh, on the solution. When you're looking at these puzzles at home, the difficult part is, is that you have to read through all of the clues first and then determine the pecking order as far as where you're going to go. For example, like 
I knew that this three across was a logical place to go because I had en enough time to see that we're, that we're going to be using four across and that's, that's uh, an answer that we already have. You may have to read through the clues two or three times before you see the next logical place to go. All right, we have three across solved. Now we're going to move to 15 across. 50 less than three across. We do have three across. It's 62. What's 50 less than 62? 12. We can now put 12 in the 15 across and cross that clue off of our list. Next down, we're going to move to two down. Two down says it's six more than four across. Four across is 31. Six more than that would be 37. Very important also is that you don't, <laughs> sometimes I will confuse the across clues with the down clues and put numbers in the wrong slots and then as you start to solve the others, well that can't possibly be right. I go back end up erasing. So sometimes it's a little bit of trial and error, but uh, eventually you can find the right pecking order for the answers to move through the, pro the puzzle, uh, puzzle logically. Now we're going to move down to 12 down. 10 more than 3 across. We do have 3 across. It's 62. 10 more than 12 across is going to give us 72 at 12 down. We already had the 2 in there from a previous answer, so that's very reassuring. Now if we had gone over there and said 10 more than uh, 62, and for some reason we had 14 or something, I was like, well that doesn't add up. You can catch yourself making errors, go back, see where you made your mistake, erase, and then get the right answers. But again, that 2 down there is very reassuring. We know that we're on the right course. Let's eliminate 12 down from our uh, clue list. Now let's move to 13 down. 20 less than 1 down. 1 down we already have, it's 111. 20 less than that is going to be 91. Let's put 91 in there and cross that off. Well, we're well on our way and we've kind of done a first pass of all of the clues and I think that this is a really good spot for us to take a quick breather and take a break. We'll be back with more of The Puzzle Detective right after this.